Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a holiday gift guide for you guys, and I have stuff for all ages, male and female. So, yeah, let's get started. Oh wait, before we get started, you guys like these reindeer ears? They have little bells on them at the top. And I've set up my Christmas tree. I actually have the lights on, but you can't even tell. Can you guys tell? Probably. Yep. So... Yeah, so let's get started with this video. Um, I'm going to start off with the guy stuff first because I don't have as much. I just didn't really know what they wanted, I guess. So let's start off with some games. So guys love video games. This one is one of my brother's favorite. It is for the PS, the PS3, sorry. Um, it is the NBA 2013 video game, and it's just like a basketball um, video game. If your guy really likes sports, then uh, try Madden if you don't like basketball, because Madden is a football game. I mean, yeah, football game. And if you don't like football, then try soccer. So, yeah. And then the PS3 also plays uh, Blu-ray movies, so this is just one of his favorites again. This is Hancock, which is actually a really good movie, so if you haven't seen it, definitely go check that out, and I actually got him a Blu-ray for his, uh, birthday back in June, so, yep, and then another good present, and this can go for girls and guys, but our, like, season packs of, uh, movies, this is house season three, this is, like, the full season, Next I'm actually thing, out from the library, my brother actually really wants this, and I bought this for him, this is the Ego video camera, it is a flip screen camera, it looks like this. It's kind of like the little flip, but this one was definitely less than that one. This was $40, but I found it on clearance for $19.98, so $20. But, yeah. And I think he's definitely going to enjoy this because he always wants to play with my cameras. He's like seven, but he always plays with my cameras, and he's like, I want a camera. So it's like, fine, if you're good, I'll give you, I'll get you a camera for Christmas. And I told this, I told him this a while ago, so he probably doesn't even remember, but he's going to be the happiest thing when he opens that up on Christmas Day. Okay, next, these are two, three things that my dad has gotten for Christmas that I guess he has enjoyed. Um, I'm not sure, I didn't really know what fathers wanted, so I figured this is what they want. <laughs> this is a revolving tie and belt rack. It looks like this. It actually has a little light on it, which is really good because, like, if you have, like, stuff all the way in the back of your closet where you can't even see, even when you have all the lights on, ugh, I hate that. But, you know, with this, you don't really have that problem. Um, you can fit 64 items on here, and I think that's it. But it looks like this. Next is a back scratcher. My dad loves this thing. My brother actually got this for him one Christmas, but you guys have probably seen how these work. Oh, not how it works. You just go like that and they scratch your back, so, yeah. Okay, next is this. This is a garment steamer, and, yeah, you just use this to, like, unwrinkle your dress shirts or dress pants, and my dad uses this for work. Well, not for work, but he uses this, like, for his work so, yeah, this is definitely something that you can, you can get your mom or your dad, especially if they, like, you know, they use, like, fancy, I guess, work clothes. So, yeah. Okay, now for girls. For those girls that love to read out there, definitely get them, like, a book or, like, a gift card to Barnes & Noble or Starbucks or something like that. Um, I have three books here that might be good for reading. I've actually never read any of these books. But the first one is Pushing the Limit. The second one is The Immortal Rules. And then the third one is Shadows and Bones. And if you don't want to read books, then I would definitely suggest a magazine subscription. I actually have a magazine subscription to Seventeen that I've had for about three years now. And I love it because I just love getting my magazine every month um, in the mail. So, yeah, this, I was trying to find, like, the newest one, which has the One Direction boys on it, but apparently I lost it. I think it's, like, downstairs somewhere, but I can't find it. 
but this is the November edition. So yeah, I have a paper that actually has the prices. Okay, so for one year, um, for one year subscription is twelve dollars. For a two year, it is fifteen dollars, and then for a three year, it is eighteen. And if you get a two or three year subscription, you actually get a free gift. Getting one of these is really good because you're definitely saving money from buying these. Because what are these? I think these are like four ninety nine in the stores if you go and buy one. So go get you one. Okay, next for those girls that love to be like fancy and get all dawed up, here is like something that you could probably get them. Um, a perfume, whatever their favorite perfume is or favorite scent, I definitely get that. This is one of my favorite scents. This is the DKNY apple, I mean pink apple, sorry. And this is just a really light floral kind of spring scent that I love. And if they don't want something like that, definitely like a Bath and Body uh, Works gift card or just get them their favorite Bath and Body Works scent. One of my favorites is the Be Enchanted. I have their bubble bath their body lotion and and this is their triple moisturizing body cream so yeah i love these products and this one is definitely my favorite especially in the winter because this stuff will help you this will save you from your dry skin so yeah and if that doesn't work try something like this this is actually a kit that i put together um it already came with this stuff in it it has like a little mirror a little thing where you can stick stuff in and then it came with this that you can actually take out. So it has a nail filer, tweezers, toenail clipper, fingernail clipper, funny looking scissors, and then a cuticle thingy. Not sure what they're called. But inside, at the bottom, I included this stuff. These are Revlon 3D nail uh, strips. A nail separator and then two of my favorite Milani nail polishes this one is in disco lights number 89 and then this one is in black magic number 37 now if they're into games what I would suggest is a either you can get these in like a big pack but they're like game game accessory kits basically so this is one that I got when I was like really into my DS. Um, it is a carrying case. It also came with little uh, card cartridges, I guess. It came with a stylus, screen protector, and I think that's it. So this is like my DS. It is blue, really, really pretty blue. But yeah, this would definitely make a great gift. So yeah, and then if they're definitely into fashion and jewelry, a purse or a wallet would definitely be something nice to give them. This is a really, really pretty one that I actually got at Target on clearance for $17.46, and I love this. I haven't worn it yet, but it's a it has a really nice shape to it. And then it has like a magnet, and it has a longer strap if you know you want to do something a little bit longer. I really like this bag, and I think this would make a great gift. And then for jewelry wise, depending on who you're doing this for, if this was your mom, I would definitely do something like this, which this is actually a compact mirror, but I would definitely get like a piece that's really special to them, or something that you've given them beforehand and get it like engraved, I think that would definitely be a really good gift. You could put like love from some, you know, mom or dad or whatever, you know what I mean? Like love from Susie, Joe, I don't know. But, or just like a sweet message or like an inside joke that you guys have. This is actually a really delicate like compact mirror that I've never really used or like thrown into my pop-up book, but it's been engraved and yeah. Definitely check something like that out. They have them in malls. I know my mall has it. There's a store in my mall that has it. Um, there's this place called Times. What's it called? Sorry. Things Remembered, and they do custom engraves. So definitely check out a place like that. Or I would suggest something like Jewel Mint. 
I would only suggest Joomin if you already have an account. If you don't have an account, I don't rec- not that I don't recommend signing up, if you definitely want to use it and you're planning to do it every month because it is a subscription service or you plan to keep up with it and, you know, dismiss it every other month or something like that, I would definitely do it. But if you just plan to do like a one-time use, I don't really recommend it because you're probably just going to get yourself into a loop and end up losing money. Well, not losing, but spending money that you didn't really want to spend. So, yeah, Joomin is definitely a really good website. Their jewelry is really unique, and it's designed by a celebrity, so that's really cool. And you can actually uh, ship your or their jewelry piece to their house directly. So, you know, there's no, like, middleman, I guess you could say. So, yeah. And then last but not least, I believe, I would do something like this. This is actually a ring that I got last Christmas from Jarrett. It just looks like that. It is a Pandora stackable ring. This is the heart something something in silver. Um, it also comes in gold, but the gold one's like really expensive. And I want to say this one was like forty dollars or something around there. So I would definitely link this one down below for you guys. And for the jewelment thing, I will be linking a discount code down below in case you guys want to check it out. Okay, so that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed. And don't forget to check out my last video. I did a haul for you guys featuring some stuff from Debs and Tort. I also announced the giveaway winners, which I would do right now again. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.